Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, next live attack. This one a little bit, um, not not quite as much planning I put into this one. Maybe a little bit cocky on my part, because uh, it is a bit of a lower level base, and I think I should be able just to uh, to overpower it if nothing else. But you know, still shouldn't overestimate or underestimate this base. It looks pretty solid. This is a friendly challenge not actually in war. I know you guys like the ones from the wars better, uh, but I just haven't been able to war. And this is gonna give me a chance to kind of work on my attacking skills because I've been out of the uh, the clash loop for about a week or so in terms of attacking. So I wanna get back into it and uh, try to get into some wars soon. That's why I'm starting to practice a little bit and I thought I'd show uh, some live attacks on this base. Hopefully one live attack if I can just get the three star right away. Um, but I guess by the length of this video, you guys already know if that's true or not. Let's go ahead and talk about the plan though. Uh, fairly straightforward. I'm just going to uh, basically start off with some uh, some minions up in this area, baby dragon, wizard, start to get this trash taken out basically. Then coming in with my queen, gonna wall breaker her in right here. Got five healers for her and got a wizard right there. Uh, the wall breaker should be fine with that wizard tower not being max, uh, and it probably won't target them in time anyway. So let the queen in, let her take out these right here, those assorted items. The air defenses, uh, archer tower, all that good stuff. Get that taken out. And then as that's going on, she'll deal with the CC troops, have her rage, the ability of poison here. Gonna drop down my golem, a jump, should be able to thread the needle right there hopefully. Uh, about... My, about two Valks, my king, and I think like three bowlers. Get those guys coming in, and I probably will use a rage on them. I'm not sure. I might save it depending on how it's going. I I I don't know if I'm over or underestimating this once again, but I'm thinking I might have a good shot at the Inferno and the defensive queen if everything goes right. As that's going on, I'm gonna send in my Laloon, uh, just one Lava Hound, and uh, I'll quickly get some balloons going here to cut the break the funnel for the main balloons to go towards this inferno. I have lots of haste, I think three haste, and then I have a heal for this area because the Lava Hound might pop relatively quickly, but the hope is they'll get the air defense, then the heal will keep them up for these last few defenses right here, a few balloons for that. And I think I sh should be good. So I have a jump, uh, two rage, a heal, and three, th or three haste and a poison, I believe. Um, I'm going to have to cut away because I have to make sure the friendly challenge is ready and everything, but I will be back when I am attempting to three-star this base, so wish me luck. Okay, let's try this thing out. Here we go. Okie dokie. We are going to start off with some minions at the top of the screen. Then we're going to uh, do the baby dragon, a wizard... Get the queen down pretty quickly, so let's go ahead and do this. Minion, minion, minion. Baby dragon. Wizard. And we'll put a wizard there. And get the queen going. Probably have too many wall breakers to be honest. Oh well. Okay, we'll get ready for the golem soon. As soon as the CC comes out. Maybe a little bit before. Golem. Bowlers. Jump, Poison Rage, King, Three Valks. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. King's Ability, Lava Hound. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, two, one. Haste, haste. I 
Oh boy. This one's not going to be a fresh hit. No, sir. Did not get the Inferno and just a uh, little bit of a Tesla farm two part there. We got Tesla farm in here. Tesla farm, just kind of two bunches of Teslas, I guess. Not really a farm, I would call it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Lava Hound Balloon in the CC. Maybe I could start things off a little differently here, knowing that. Um, might be able to adjust real quick. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and back out. Not going to go anywhere. And I uh, guess a solid base there. I'll tell them I'm going to change the design. All right, what can we do here? Um, I don't know if this healer is necessarily needed. Uh, another Lava Hound would be nice. Hard to think here. Looks like they were attacking my base. Oh, maybe not. Um, my base is still up there. What kind of adjustments can we make here, guys? Um, a bigger kill squad, maybe? Let's take a look at it one more time, if we can. <laughs> if other people aren't going to steal it from me. Uh, basically, as we go through here, this stuff was fine. The queen comes in, gets her air defenses, gets pretty good value. You know, she's getting archer towers, wizard towers. Um, pretty decent stuff. Independently, this queen walk, I think, was fine. Here comes the golem. A uh, little bit weird deployment, but it comes in. King, few valks, and uh, the king just starts heading down south a little bit, even though I want him to go towards that inferno. So maybe a way to adjust that would be nice. Then we have the Teslas and stuff in there. Um, let's see what we can do. Um, if I have to adjust live on YouTube, uh, I guess the main thing I'm going to change is I'm going to take away a healer. I'm going to, I think, I might want to add a few Valks maybe and try to change the angle I come at this base from. Let's go up to it right here. Uh, come at it from the top up there maybe. Drop the jump in that area. I think that might be a better recipe for success here. And then maybe come at the base hmm, probably the same way. Uh, I think a freeze might be nice for the test for all this damage right in here. Um, or should I just come at the base different way? No, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and keep most of the stuff. We'll just add a few wall breakers. Um, I'm gonna change the funnel up a little bit, but for the most part, this is gonna be the same. And the base is under attack. What do you know? Um, oh no, there it is. My bad. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, add a few wall breakers. Go ahead and add two of them. I should do three. Might as well do three there. And we'll add a Valk. And we'll see how this thing plays out. I think this might be the recipe for success. Going to keep the heal spell. And we'll just use it as we see fit. All right, let's go ahead and try this. Last second adjustments. Interesting how this works. Um, so we'll go ahead and put some minions right up here here, minion here, minion there, and they should get that stuff taken out. Baby dragon, wizard, queen, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and got that opened up. Now there is the Lava Hound in the CC, so I might want to send in my kill squad a little bit earlier than I typically would. Um, let's make sure the queen's going to go in. Yep, there she goes. So we might have to rage her up, not quite yet. Golem, bowlers, one, two, three, four. Let's get that rage ready for her. Get this jump going. 
Ooh, it came out for the queen. That's unfortunate. Uh, not the biggest deal in the world. Right there, the queen's going to engage. Pop the king's ability. And still have that. Let's try coming from this side. Might as well. Heal, Rage, Hey, still, this one's going to be close, get a wizard down there, oh boy, let's try to get a wizard to help with some of those traps, this one might be a crunch on time, we'll get an archer there, archer here, Minion, try to help take that stuff out. This one's going to be close, actually. Went ahead and deployed stuff on the other side of the base. This is kind of a weird video, just kind of doing stuff on the fly a little bit. This wizard, not going to cooperate. Those air traps, I don't think I'm going to get it. Um, just by virtue of time, those air traps are such a nuisance. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it went a little bit better just by... Um, by virtue of the kill squad getting some more value, but I think the I'm gonna if I do this a third time I'm gonna need the the kill squad to go in and attract that <clears throat> that lava hound because I don't want it to be an issue for my queen. She could have gotten a lot more value had she gone into the base. I don't know why my troops are doing this. I guess they're gonna go all the way around and target the uh, or at least my queen is. But yeah, I couldn't quite get that little part of the base taken out. And I think, you know, would have had more time had the Lava Hound not been as much of an issue. So, um, of course, if at this point uh, in an actual war, there'd be another hour of planning on this base adjustments. And it should be easily three stars. So I did have to cut away right there. Um, it turns out that uh, CBG, that's the base, the guy whose base I was attacking from One Hive Invicta. Shout out to him and to One Hive Invicta. But uh he put a all four troll Teslas in the corner of his base because he has two variations of this base on speed dial. You guys know there is the 24 hour cooldown, but he has two bases completely cooled down. One that looks like this, one that looks exactly the same, but has the troll Teslas in the corner. So things got a little bit ridiculous and I didn't want to uh, kind of waste your guys' time with all the hilarity that ensued. So uh i guess those are the attacks you guys can see if i had to make adjustments just for the end of this video um just so you guys know for the purpose of trying to be a little bit serious here uh i dropped down probably my probably the queen here try to delay the healers as much as possible break the funnel here maybe use a giant to kind of tank for the archer tower uh try to delay the healers to right about here as she makes her way on a queen walk i don't think she'd go through the wall right there so she should continue down i'd wall breaker her in here uh, let her come in and try to get this stuff taken out, the Inferno, the air defense. Hopefully she would engage the Inferno before the CC came out. That's the only part I'm a little bit concerned on, but um, with the help of some funneling down here, she should make her way up eventually, get this air defense. And while that was going on, I'd just come in with a Lava Hound, uh, Balloons. I could probably drop the King even uh, right like uh, along inside with the Queen to help tank or something. I do a lot less invasive, just kind of a queen walk, um, no Valks or bowlers or anything, and then come with my Laloon uh, right across here, sending in some balloons and lava hounds. That might work out a little bit better, uh, but this is actually is a solid base, even though the air defenses are kind of spread out here in a way that you you would think it would be easy to Laloon, but I think it is a solid setup uh, for what it's worth, especially being a, a little bit lower level in weight for Town Hall 10. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry I wasn't able to hit this base again, but it changed, and uh, I kind of just, those four Teslas in the corner screwed me up, and then from there I just kind of started to throw some different compositions at it, and it got pretty ridiculous. So that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I should be coming out with some more videos soon. See you guys then. Bye. Sectatron out.